Welcome to this course entitled Simulation Models for the Design of Transition Paths Towards a Sustainable Society. This MOOC will help the students to reach the competencies in the use of simulation tools for the assessment of economy, energy and environment systems, and specifically the tools developed in MEDEA's project. This first module will be divided in two parts, a general overview about climate change, global ecological crisis and sustainability, and an introduction to the general structure of integrated assessment models such as MEDEA's. We will start with an introduction to sustainability. What does sustainability mean? In the dictionary, sustainability is defined as the ability to be maintained at a certain rate or level, or the quality of being able to continue over a period of time. Regarding the environment, sustainability is the quality of causing little or no damage to the environment and therefore able to continue for a long time. Sustainability expresses the quality of a system to survive. An economic system will be sustainable when it does not suffer major disruptions that seriously question its principles. A social system will be sustainable when its transition to better living conditions preserves and encourages those values that are promoters of good coexistence. And similarly, a biological system will be sustainable when the conditions for life and reproduction of a species are maintained. But it's the natural biological system that each day seems less capable of sustaining life on Earth, at least as we know it, as a result of the global ecological crisis such as climate change, pollution, scarcity of natural resources, and the overshoot of several planetary boundaries. In 1992, the document World Scientists Warning to Humanity, signed by more than 1,700 scientists, showed that we were pushing ecosystems beyond their capacities to support life. And they prayed that we would greatly reduce greenhouse emissions and reverse the trend of collapsing biodiversity. More than 25 years later, we have only been able to stabilize the stratospheric ozone layer. Humanity has failed to progress in solving these environmental challenges. The situation is now even worse than in previous decades. Humanity is not taking the urgent and necessary measures to safeguard our threatened biosphere. The world biodiversity is vanishing at an alarming rate. Population of vertebrate species are rapidly collapsing, as we can see on the graph. Between 1917 and 2012, the total decline is close to 60%. Global fossil fuel carbon dioxide emissions have increased sharply in comparison with the historic trend before 1992. In parallel, the global average surface temperature has also rapidly risen. In 2009, Johan Rockström and his team proposed a new approach to global sustainability. They defined nine planetary boundaries within which they expected humanity to operate safely. Transgressing one or more boundaries may be catastrophic due to the risk of crossing thresholds that will be triggered in a non-linear way. Nowadays, four planetary boundaries have already been transgressed. Climate change, biosphere integrity, land system change, and biogeochemical flows, nitrogen and phosphorus. Another, another one is close to being crossed, the acidification of oceans. The farther we pass the boundary, the higher the risk of regime shifts, the stabilized system processes or erosion of resilience, and the opportunities to prepare for such change are fewer, seen in another way. Today, the ecological footprint generated by humanity exceeds, ex exceeds the total biocapacity of the planet Earth. Thus, the ecological depth continues to increase each year without remedy. Retard to sustainability will require a drastic change in lifestyles, 
and this change must be bolder the longer it takes to act. No note of the necessary change have yet been made. Today, humanity uses the equivalent of 1.7 Earths to provide the resources we use and to manage our waste. We use more ecological resources and services than nature can regenerate, and we mainly do it through overfishing, overharvesting forests, and emitting more CO2 than the system can absorb. Initiatives such as the MEDEAS project, modeling the energy development under environmental and socioeconomic constraints, are designed to be part of this return to ecological sustainability. And what is MEDEAS? MEDEAS it is a consortium that aims to create a new computational model that redefines the future of the energy system in Europe. It takes into account the physical and social limitations to implement, modify, and test public policies to facilitate the transition towards a European system of low carbon energy, and avoiding in this transition the loss of socioeconomic competitiveness, any lack of protection of the environment, the destruction of quality jobs, and social unrest. In the next topic, we will address the concept of integrated assessment models and an overview of MEDEA's model. <laughs>